So this is a way that you'll be able to make money even before you start plugging in any of your talents or your skills. A great example of that is Tesla Energy has come up with and is working with solar roof panels. But what they're doing is they're taking the shingles and making those into solar panels such that it blends right into your roof. Number what 10 is, is probably one of my most, I'm, the, the, I'm super excited about numbers. This is where we create new income streams for the business. Like dog, it's effortless for these new income streams. Like, did you know that you can clone any offline business and bring it online and pull equity and cash flow out of that business without signing on it legally, dealing with any liabilities, any responsibilities, no dealing with hiring or firing staff, having staff meetings, no day-to-day -day operations, just you getting the money, the cold, hard cash, from the business. So for those of you who are interested in buying a business, you don't need to use cash, your cash or anyone else, else's, anybody's credit or your credit or none of that. Those of you who are agency owners, this is good for you because now you can get out of uh, the slave work of being stuck at a retainer without any uh, hope or equity or any of that stuff in the business. That's why you want to watch this to the end because Curtis is going to go first, and he is a 13-time business owner, buyer, and seller, and I'm going to go second, and I've been doing this marketing and advertising thing, and now I've converted over to having partnerships with businesses instead of them being my freaking clients, and we make way more money doing it this way. So if you want to make way more money with way more freedom, this is what you want to watch. Make sure you stay to the end after he explains the eight R's. I'm going to explain the 10 monetization steps that we plug into our business partners uh, that are referred to us by business brokers um, in order to make a lot of money. Curtis, go ahead. All right. Thanks, Dave. Uh, so, so, so as Yashriel said, uh, I'm going to go through the eight R's. So what are the eight R's? So first, I understand that there are principles of innovation where an individual can tap into these principles that are responsible for basically 95 to 98, depending on the source you, you cite, uh, 95 to 98 percent of all innovations have these fundamental principle foundational. Uh, foundations. And so that's the first thing. There are a couple of uh, other type of macro, uh, I'll call them uh, macro principles that we adhere to, but I won't, I won't necessarily go into, uh, go into that. I'll just quickly say that there are two principles. The first is around the concept of fixedness, which means that you, what you see, you are fixed on and you don't, if you see a table, that's all you see is that table. That's what fixedness is. And you can have physical fixedness as well as other types of fixedness. Um, the other, the other concept is being in a closed world environment. And what that basically means is if you think about a character like, um, uh, oh, MacGyver. A MacGyver character <laughs> where he would go into a room and the only thing that he could basically work with were the materials that were in the room. And so you have this concept that says that if I only have to work with the constraint materials, how can I create? If you don't have any constraints, if you have all the money, all the time, all the anything you need, then you do not have to worry about innovation. You have all the resources, all the time, all the people. You don't have to worry about innovation. But if you have any of those things, any of those things are lacking, then you have to be innovative, right? And yes, so, right. so those two principles underline or, or basically acts as the foundation for the eight R's. What are the eight R's? Well, they are each of them. It, there's eight um, principles that start with an R. So remove, replace, resize, redistribute, um, replicate, repurpose, and re reimagine, and lastly, reliance. We, we actually use reliance first and then 
reimagine come second now what or or last because what you're doing is you're reimagining the business as something completely different okay and so now let me i'm a uh, quickly go through them sort of uh, really fast. And then as you go through the, as you go through your section uh, at the end, I will kind of chime in and say, that's an R of, that's how you would use that R because in the, in the training, that's how we do. I, I plug an R, I match an R with one of the, one of the principles, right? So let me just quickly go through that and then I'll let you get into it. So remove, oh. <laughs> pause. remove basically says that you, you basically look at your complete system, you break it down and you remove the most essential part of that system and you see what you have left. Now, many times remove and replace work together because what you're doing is you're removing one thing and you may replace it with technology. AI is a classic example of innovation in any system because you're removing a major piece, you know, like you're removing the customer service aspect of your business and you're replacing it with technology. So replace and remove act as as twin tandems in order to remove something out of the system and then replace it. The more essential something is in the system that you remove, the more innovative it your solution will be. Let me say that again. The more essential the piece is in the system that you remove, the more innovation will come out of that because you, you'll basically remove what people think is like absolutely necess ne necessary, but then you will replace that with something that is greater in terms of efficiency, but has a lot less um a lot less uh, constraints in it. And you may remove and replace something within the system. So, and I'll talk about that in just a moment. So that's remove and replace. Replicate means just that. You look at the system and you go, how can I replicate what's going on in the system for the greater good? So it's, it, it would think of it as multiplication. Um, so you, if you look at like your, your ad spend or your marketing effort, how can I replicate that? Well, one way to do that is to have an affiliate army or affiliate militia or affiliate nation as an example. That's an example of replication. The, the next one is to resize cake to cupcake or truck to monster truck. And you see the, the greatest examples in our history of resizing is the computer chip. Mm. Uh, 50 years ago, the, the, the computer chip was about as big as this and it would, it would plug into basically, uh, these, these huge computers, uh, huge servers. Now it's a nano. In fact, in, they're working on things where you can't even see their particles, right? Their mm -hmm. the physics is, is making all sorts of breakthroughs. That is, you know, from here to there. You think about a refrigerator, a refrigerator to a mini refrigerator. You think about uh, things like um, uh, all, anything that you can look to either expand hugely or reduce dramatically is resize, the concept of resize. Now we have redistribute. In any system, there are steps in the process. Redistribute basically says you move those steps around in the process in order to have a much more efficient system. So let me give you a quick example. Um, on, on the show, one of the shows where they do the remodeling, um, what they do is they will find the property and sell the property before they actually fix it up to mm -hmm. to flip right mm -hmm. and so the buyer is involved in the uh, the buyer is involved in the process so instead of finding the property fixing it up and then selling it and then rents yeah, and find repeat the buyer buyer yeah. and yeah. then find property. So, and what does that do? That allows them to save money because it's not their money. They eliminate the need for cash on their side, right? And, Look, and they stay with constraints, right? Yeah, what, what were you saying? Bad. Let me enter and enter 
No, that that reminds me so much of what I used to do when uh, I used to coach people on wholesaling real estate. One of the mm-hmm. big uh, issues people used to have, they'll get caught up wondering, should they start trying to find sellers first or should they find buyers first? And I always right. told them to start with the buyers because you need to uh, write down a grocery list. And I used to use the example of when we were kids, our mom would send us to the store or something like that to, to you know, to pick up some food for dinner, right? And if yeah. we forgot the list we and we went there hungry, we'd just come back with a whole bunch of like random stuff. So when we tell her, I right, fix dinner with this, she'll look at us crazy and probably put us on punishment, right? But if we didn't forget that list, we can go there and get exactly what she wanted, exactly what she requested. So my point is, if a buyer, if you start with a, see the pre- problem with realtors and wholesalers, they'll start with trying to get listings and sellers and all of that stuff, right? Now now you got to shop around for a buyer and you got to go through a, a million of them and say, ah, eh, that's not really what I'm looking for. But if, right. if you start with him and he says, I want a house on this side of the city, it needs to be two stories, it has to have a fence, it needs to have a, a backyard or in a basement or something. Now you can go directly to that area go directly to the type of houses that fit that description and even if one or two things are off you still got like like pretty much all of the stuff that he was looking for he or she was looking for and the rest can be handled so uh that just reminded me of that what you were saying like yeah if you get the buyer first then you know that just makes the whole thing way easier way easier and and much more efficient you save money you save time you save a lot of energy as well and is much more attractive when you you can walk in, into a seller and basically say i already have a buyer you can walk into a bank and say i already have a buyer in place and all we are mm. doing we're just matching property with the buyer right? buyer specifications so that is the whole notion of redistribute the the next one number six is around repurpose and this is really really a strong one because what it says is look i'm going to take agents in the process or players in the process or or elements assets in the process and i'm going to have it if i remove something i'm going to have that agent do something else in the process. So one of the one a, a great example of that is um, Tesla Energy has come up with and is working with solar roof panels. Now they have the big solar roof panels, but what they're doing is they're taking the shingles and making those into solar panels such that it blends right into your roof. What does that do? One, so the shingle is now not only generating energy, but it's protecting the house, right? So it's acting in two ways as opposed to, you know, the shingles plus this huge monstrosity thing that's on your, on the top of your roof. The shingles is acting as a double agent, if you would. It's doing one thing, and it's doing something totally different. So in your system, you want to look for where can this asset do one thing and then it does something completely different, but serves the purpose of the overall system. And that's what you're looking Mm -hmm. for. So repurpose becomes hugely powerful. Realign. Re, uh, or excuse me, yeah, reliance, I should say. Reliance. Reliance is a, if this happens, then that happens. If this turns on, then that turns on. Um, reliance was responsible for the innovation. And, and remember, when you look at an innovation, you can decode any innovation by just going, what's going on here? So I'll give you an innovation. There is a, uh, there's a company called Baby Owl. Our OWL, um, that, that basically they make these technology booties for little babies. And what, what it does is that the idea is to reduce the amount of SIDS, sudden instant, su- sudden infant death syndrome that happens in the United States, right? Nice. And what they, like what they did, 
what they did was they found that, you know, if we could monitor the baby all times and if something goes wrong with any of the the any of the indicators, we will send an alarm. We could send an alarm to the parents so they could intervene before it got mm-hmm. to the point where the baby, um, you know, could not breathe. OK, so that was the that's the premise. So what they did was they put together a, a group of what we call baby booties, but they, they're socks. Right. Oh. And in, in that sock is the technology that monitors the health of the baby. So it has the breathing, perspiration, your know, heartbeat, you know, everything that's going on. If anything goes wrong or anything is abnormal, it's, it makes a, it sends a signal to the parent's smartphone as an alarm. And this nice. company is responsible for basically reducing uh, sudden infant death syndrome by well over 80%, which is just amazing. And it's just that if this happens, the technology is if this happens, then that happens. If the baby's heart rate go up to X, then call the parents. If the baby's perspiration goes to Y, call the parents. If this, then that. So there's a reliance. So you look in your system of business and you go, where is their dependencies? Where is their reliances? And then you try to break those reliance. So on a previous video, you and I talked about how one constraint in analyzing a business could be the reliance on an employee or the reliance on the biggest customer or the reliance on a supplier. That's how you look at it, right? And so you now have to, sometimes you want to put together reliances and sometimes you need to break reliances for the better good of the system. So in that case, if you're just dependent on, if one employee generates 40, 50% of the revenue and you pretend you are dependent on that, you need to break that reliance or that dependency on that employee. And so that's where reliance is. And then finally, the last one is reimagine and reimagine for us is reimagining the business not as a brick and mortar but as a digital business with the brick and mortar distribution center which allows you to reclassify the business as it relates to the SIC code from from a regular uh, small business digit uh, excuse me small uh, business that has a brick and mortar to a digital business. And what that does is, is the difference between Amazon and Walmart, right? Amazon is a digital business with physical distribution centers. Walmart is a physical distribution center with some um, digital presence as it relates to their e-commerce and things of that nature. And they're trying mm-hmm. to catch up to go to the other way. The valuation of each of those businesses is totally different. Right. And the the multiple for each of those businesses are totally different. So we are reimagining the business on one way as opposed to the other way. All right. So that covers the eight R's and how they kind of work as an overview and the two principles, um, closed world environment and fixedness, either structural or process fixedness um, are the underlying dependence of of the innovation system called the eight R's. All right. Now let's bar, get into bar um, bar bar. Good. Those were the eight R's. Okay, so now we're about to step into the 10 monetization steps uh that you'll go through once you get a partner or a business owner that becomes your partner to agree to allow you to build the digital twin. So a lot of you guys are like, why would they agree to this? Okay, so in the agency to partner program, we're gonna couple you or help you get coupled to uh, business owners. Some of them are looking to expand, meaning they wanna grow rapidly, maybe make, uh, you know, have multiple locations or even go like international or something like that, right? And then you have others that are preparing or need help preparing for a larger exit. They want to sell off the business and go sell into the sunset some dang on where sipping something they shouldn't be sipping. Right. OK. <laughs> <laughs> right. So you want to be paired or you want to get those type of people to partner with. 
right? So being that they have a goal and you are the vehicle that could get them to the goal, whichever one that is, how using your skills of marketing and advertising, if you're an agency owner, then you already, you're fully equipped with everything you need to be able to do this. The problem is you were just using all of your skills like a freaking hooker or something, and you were just getting paid this minimal, you know, and giving all of yourself. Imagine a hooker, right? Like usually, you know, in the traditional relationship, you know what I'm saying? You care about a person that you give your everything to, your your most valuable possession, your temple and your soul and all of that stuff, right? But a hooker for 50 bucks or less, not saying I got experience, a hooker gives complete strangers on a daily, people that aren't worth it, people that don't like matter or anything, gives them them their best. And, 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 uh, and in return, they get this, right? right. So what am, why am I bringing that up? Because if you're an agency owner and you have the traditional retainer model, you're a hooker. <laughs> Don't take offense. Don't be starting talking stuff in the comments. You hear me? My my point is this, guys. Okay, tell me I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong, right? Then we'll get into the the ten monetization steps. Okay, so all of you guys, well, some of you guys have testimonials, right? And in the testimonials, the 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 client that you had will say. Hey, he was he or she was able to bring me an extra eighty thousand, or he or she was able to bring we. This is the first time we hit fifty thousand in a month. True or false? True or false? Unless you just started this growth partner trend that these other agency owners are doing, you were still at five hundred to maybe two thousand dollars when you got them to eighty thousand dollars or that first fifty thousand bucks. That's a freaking hooker, man. <laughs> you hear my? They would have never got there if it wasn't for you. How come you didn't grow evenly with them? How come you're not making just as much, if not more, than the business owner when you're the reason why they hit those uh, uh, those marks, those milestones that they never hit before in their business? Why are you just getting paid the minimum? You're right. a hooker. Okay, so let's move on. Don't be offended because guess what? We can all repent and stop being the hookers. <laughs> all right, we can turn around, turn our lives around. And that's what agency to partner is. It's, it's supposed to be unshackling yourself from things. You didn't even know you were in a matrix. You thought you were this big dog. You know, I got all these clients. Yo, yeah, and all these clients, hookers got all these clients too. Should they be proud that they got all these clients? Should they be proud? Bragging that they got all these people just using them in the wrong way for their most valuable possessions, right? Right. So, dude, you guys, if you're a marketer or an agency owner, you run the world technically. You know, uh, um, you know, you influence what people see. If I if I type in what does God look like, it was a marketer or an advertiser that got the image on the first page of Google and is influencing millions of or billions of people, whether that's the wrong way or the right way, because you know that if you look that up, that is not what he looks like. But my point is, you have the power to do all of that. If, if I want to say who's the greatest rapper of all time, I, all I got to do is go and do my SEO game and I can rank whoever my opinion is. You, you guys have power that you have no idea that you possess, because if you did, you would not settle to just be the lap dog of these. Anyway, these people. Right. A lot of them don't even deserve you. Right. But anyway, right. let's move on. The 10 monetization steps that you're going to plug in. We're going to start off real simple. As soon as a business owner uh, partners with you. Right. And agrees to allow you to plug into their business. We have an agreement form inside agency to partner that you will be able to give to the business owners and the brokers that we're partnering with. We can have them do that now. So we're in the midst of setting that stuff up where they'll negotiate with the business owner the terms for you instead of you having to do it. Right. OK. Right. So once all of the dust settles and the smoke clears. The first thing you want to do is go to the assets that they already have that's getting traffic. Okay, so let's say they have a website. Remember, I, we teach you guys 
not to go after businesses that are just trash. We want you to go after businesses that are doing decently, at least getting a decent amount of traffic and visitors to their websites and stuff, because we can leverage that for us as well. So this is a way that you'll be able to make money even before you start plugging in any of your talents or your skills. So the first step, what me and Curtis just talked about is AdSense on the thank you page. Mm -hmm. Okay. So a lot of you guys don't know the power of AdSense. All you know about is, uh, uh, you know, Google putting ads on YouTube videos and some people making money like that. If you're from the SEO world, then you know that certain industries, certain niches get paid a crap load on certain topics for AdSense. So if you, or when you partner with one of the business owners that if you go and do your keyword research and you look at their top uh, uh, ranking keywords and you go and you look and see how much search volume comes in for that keyword per month. Oh, snap. They already getting visitors on the site. When you look at the analytics, you look and you see the opt in form. And when they opt in, it just takes them to a blank thank you page. You'll be contacted shortly for confirmation. Boo. No, what we're going to do is we're going to do some stuff to that thank you page. The first thing we're going to do, first income stream that you get to partake in, is that AdSense. You're going to put the AdSense on the thank you page. That is uh, is pretty much as close to like effortless as you can possibly get. Like, If you already have monetization, uh, uh, if you already have AdSense approval on your agency site or one of your other sites or whatever, all you have to do is create another page that is congruent with the, the brand of that business owner that you partner with. And that's the page that those people are going uh, that his uh, people that opt in is going to redirect to. So it's going to say the same thing. Dr. Pencil Stripe will be with you in a moment. <laughs> right. But you can do a lot of things on there. You can put the AdSense on there and you can put upsells on there different products on there, make it an offer wall page, all that type of stuff. You're jumping in front of money that's already moving. Like they're already getting trapped. So if you guys are wondering like, oh, how fast can we start earning with this digital twin situation? <laughs> if today someone that has traffic already, let me be clear, because somebody try to come from my neck, you hear me? I ain't scared though, try it. No, I'm just playing. All right. <laughs> Like if they're already getting traffic, OK, I didn't say some startup person that, that has no brand, no nothing. If you go and you partner with the, you know, you go to the top three listings in Google for for a plumber or something. I'm, I don't know why, but I just say plumber. Right. No, we'll say personal trainer. Right. And it's in Los Angeles or New York. You know, that's getting thousands and thousands of searches per month. So you just partner with them. You get on the phone with them right now. Look, we giving them too much, Curtis, like for free out here on this channel, man. But you just go partner. They could just take this right here, but we don't care. We ain't going to be standing. You hear me? Okay. So you go call them right now or email or whatever, blah, 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 you want to do. You be like, yo, well, I'm about to create a new income stream for you, right? Okay. So then, and you can split the the income that comes from this because they're your partner, remember? So you're giving them a new income stream as well. They don't know nothing about this stuff. Only we do. Marketers, we do. It's a whole different world. Y'all don't get it, right? Okay. So as soon as they agree to that, you say, oh, nothing's going to change. People are still going to buy People are still going to opt in the same way. You want it to be seamless, guys. Don't you don't want to mess with the uh, the transactional processes or, or anything like that and interfere with anything. So you make sure it, it the the page that you create with the AdSense on it comes after the transaction. You know the thank you page, like I said, or after the opt in or or whatever it is, redirect and, and, and things like that. That's where you want to put that. So just that is an income stream for you that is completely hands off. You don't even have to touch. And that's only number one. That's only number one. Right. So <sighs> if you guys haven't like remember, man, Curtis told you, like after the holidays, no more payment plans. And it's pro the price is probably going to 
skyrocketed. You hear me? Because we're about to start rushing through these interviews, not on this channel, but we're going to be on a whole bunch of gigantic channels and stuff. And a lot of people are going to know about this. So we're going to have to increase the price. You hear me? Uh, um, and then we have coaching in the pinned comments that is super cheap for two coaches. It's two coaches that you're getting. Him, a real business owner and seller, uh, a business buyer and seller, and me, been marketing marketing and advertising since 2015. Two experts, right? But anyway, let's move on. Number two on the monetization list is you create the free app, obviously. We want things that are going to be set and forget. Why? Because then you can scale to the next business partner if and when you want to. You don't have to. You can go to the Wazoo and see these business owners to three, four, five. You can turn them into a chain. And the good thing about it is you won't be stuck in a freaking uh, 1500 or 5000 or $10,000 a freaking month with the, uh, the business. You can take that one business to 100K if you want to, if you don't want to hop around, right? But you right. can plug into any as many businesses as you want to with this method, right? So now, number two is the apps. You create a free app for them, and everybody knows how to do that. You know, got you guys know little platforms that will just convert it into an app, their website into an app. So that's easy, right? Now, you want them to incentivize their current, uh, previous, and their future customers to download that app using irresistible offers. Hey, if you make the order from the app, you get this percentage off. If you do this from the app, then you get a free t-shirt after two months. You know what I'm saying? Blah, blah, blah. You want them to do whatever they have to, like using their list, and we're gonna get to that, to get their people to download it. Why? You're creating these assets for them, and this is what's gonna help increase the worth of that company. These assets that you're creating and these new income streams, they're gonna be worth 10 times more what they were when you found them. So just right. by adding this app, what that does is it allows you to put AdSense inside the app. So now let's count it. You got AdSense on the thank you page and maybe even other informational pages on their site. Uh, you have the AdSense inside the mobile app, but that's nothing. If people pay to take the ads out, that's what, like a dollar or two, right? Not just that, in-app purchases. So depending on the niche or whatever, you get to do push notifications and everything and upsell their current, future, and past customers and stuff, different things that you decide on, and you can split the, the, uh, the, you know, the profits with them as well. Right. Like so we're currently building the digital twin, leveraging the partner like we haven't come out of any any money. So this is why we tell you guys, you can pretty much buy into a business without using cash or credit. We're creating a shadow, a mirror. We're putting That's up right. a mirror to that business right now. But soon the reflection is going to be bigger. Hey, it, it, it remind me of what the mirrors on the car say. Uh, 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 things in the mirror may be uh, larger than the, what did it say? Uh, I forgot what it. <laughs> that's what the digital yeah. twin is. It's gonna start off as a you know a shadow of the company, but the more assets we build on the digital side, because you get to do that faster. Think about it. The physical uh business can't like just open up another location tomorrow, but we can do that through Google My Business. We can do that online through through like even Facebook ads. We can start a whole nother dang on location of that business and then create fulfillment partners in that area. Right. So like the digital side of things. Is where is it? So now you got the app next. Number three is the POS slash gateway. All right. So the POS system that stands for point of sale. If you've ever been in a restaurant or in the drive through of a fast food joint, you've seen a POS system when you were they were taking your order and you seen them typing it, you know, uh, punching in and and everything like that, guys. That's pretty much what it's talking about. Right. So then you have the virtual gateway. So whenever someone makes a payment on the site or in person and swipes their card or something or pays with cash, you're going to get a percentage of what's called the transaction fee. That comes from the referral partner of the company that is the actual gateway. And we have uh, 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 the gateway provider partners inside the agency to partner program. And we'll get 50, 
50-50% of what comes from the, the uh, transaction fee for that. Okay, so the next, the fourth monetization step is to drop service. So now you're going to create a shadow site or a duplicate site or a copy or a twin, whatever you want to call it. What I mean like that, what do I mean? You want one that's in your complete control, just in case one day you and a partner decide to split ways or something like that, your stuff won't fall through. You'll still continue owning a majority of a lot of this digital stuff, okay? So you're gonna take their site and you're gonna clone it, but then you're gonna create uh, um, you know, multiple upsells with their permission. You're gonna create like, uh, uh, you're going to boost prices up because you're going to have different offers on there. You're going to make sure your offers are irresistible offers. What do I mean by that? If they allow you to change or, or suggest certain offers on their current site, then, you know, cool. But if they don't want to change anything on their asset or whatever, pool, don't fight them. Be like, OK, whatever. Well, from mines, uh, we're going to have this offer on there and you guys aren't going to have to split any of the commission with us because we're going to charge this and we'll just take the difference and then we'll send you how much you supposed to do and you do the fulfillment. So we're going to partner on our drop service sites and make better offers, kind of like a Groupon type situation. Only difference is we're not going to cut the prices. We're going to raise them. OK, so this is just step four. So you're going to be making drop service and money. Are you guys starting to see how you can easily get to around 200K per month? Are y'all starting to see we're only at part four? OK, so now check this out. We have number four, where it is resale failed leads to other qualified people in their niche, in their market. So now it's very simple, guys. Uh, when a lead comes in, sometimes they can't help them. OK, where does that lead go? Usually a business owner don't have anything, uh, no follow up, no nothing. They just say, oh, no, I'm sorry. We don't service that area. OK, bye. And they hang up. No money, no nothing. Well, what if you told the plumber that is on the other side of town or, or in the St. Ann, Missouri area? Yo, whenever somebody calls you that is from the, the you know, the south side or central St. Louis and you can't service them, then send them to me. And whenever somebody that's within the city or uh, in your part of the city somehow ends up getting mixed up in Google and calls me, I'll send them to you. So now through this like referral type situation, we can make money selling the failed leads. So if somebody calls and say, yeah, man, I got an emergency situation, a pipe burst, blah, blah, blah. And he says, nah, I don't service that side of the city, but I have a guy that does. Now he's going to email or call you and say, yo, we got somebody on the other side of the city that needs this or that or this done, right? Can you guys do it? And if so, we give him a cut for the referral and we keep the rest of the profit. So now you're making money from failed leads, guys. Each one of these steps is technically a, a, a business that you can start up. You can just start up in a, a business swapping referrals and selling failed leads. You can go right now, like right now and go to Google and call everybody and swap them against each other. Yo, whenever somebody calls from your side, which is South County, uh, uh, but they need some from my um, from the west side, then call me. Whenever somebody needs some from the south side, but they live in West County, you know, call me. Whenever somebody needs some from downtown, but they in North County, call me. Blah blah blah. So now you got all these referrals coming in for free, and you get to resell them to each other. Guys, listen, listen. Nobody on the web is teaching you guys this stuff for free on YouTube, right? This is why <laughs> the reason we're doing this, man, to help you guys that will never actually take action with us, but also for the ones of you that actually want to get into agency to partner and you just wanted to know how valuable this is, agency to partner, like I'm just, we're, if we're telling you this stuff in public, guys. Imagine what you learn on the inside of agency to partner and what you can actually implement and make money with you understand what i'm saying and this makes it to where you don't need a million freaking clients anymore you can chop down your 100 200 client agency down to three to five freaking partners and easily get to 200k per month or you can take three partners 
or one or two and just keep scaling them till you get to 200k per month but the good thing about it is once you have a partner guys it's guaranteed that once you have a partner you're going to start making money from the day that you start plugging in the first monetization step oh snap oh snap and that's a guarantee okay so now let's move on number six Number six is build their email list and yours simultaneously and remarket using CPA offers, affiliate offers, etc. So now check this out. Remember, we saw that they have a, an opt-in page. They have a website. If, they have, if they're doing good, they should have a website. Remember, quit trying to go after people that aren't doing good. People didn't taught us that in marketing for so long. No, go after people that are doing decent at least, right? Um, cause you're not trying to fix them. You're trying to leverage them. It's a difference. You're not trying to fix them. You're trying to leverage them. In the midst of that, you're helping them get to a goal that they want to get to, but they're not helpless. You're helping them, but they're not helpless. So we want people doing decently because if they're doing decently, that's the faster that we can see. Like, I don't even want to say returns because we don't have to invest anything to partner with them. OK, <laughs> come on, y'all. OK, so now look, build their email list and yours simultaneously and remarket using related CPA offers and affiliate offers. OK, so when those people come into uh, uh, um, their website and your twin site that you built or whatever, you're collecting the email list as well. Since you're a partner, an equal partner, then you have the right to remarket to these people that come into the email list so you say oh you came into doctor uh uh um or we'll use the personal trainer example again so you came in uh for a free session right uh but you didn't get a membership get 10 percent off the membership just by saying yes right now okay boom all right so now that's cool you and him you and a personal trainer split that but now let's take it somewhere else Guess what they're going to need? If you if you got them in a the boot camp, they're going to be sore, okay? Hold on. We're not even, we're we jumping too far ahead. So now you just sold them a membership. Most people aren't going to show up, but a couple times a week, right? Because they have things they need to do. So what you want to do then is you want to sell them a virtual training, whether that's like online training sessions, something they can do at home, or a course that they can do at home when they're not actually in the gym. So you just created a whole new income stream right there using their already and future email list. OK, so now you're making money from that course. OK, so now upsells. They're going to be sore. Pause. So now guess what can stop them from staying sore can speed up their recovery time. Creatine. Woo so now you can find supplements and sell them uh, the creatine to, you know, help them with soreness or whatever. And if they're already like small, it can help with, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, freaking I can't even definition. OK. And then protein powder if they're trying to bulk up, like maybe they didn't lost the weight already and they want to bulk bulk up. So now you have all of this stuff and then you can upsell them through the email list meal uh prep services and delivery and all of that stuff so they won't have to think about it private chefs in home chef all of that stuff you can just to the wazoo if you have their email list so you get their email <laughs> even this right here just six and seven steps six and seven is just separate businesses that you guys can just go and start with no money right now you can just go and start these right now with no money you don't even have to do all ten each, any of these, if you just do this in abundance, will take you to where you need to go financially. It's crazy, right? Right. And you'll be surprised if you're trying, if they're trying to reach a goal and you align with their goals, guys, then there's no reason why these business owners should like not want to partner with you. OK, so number seven pretty much is congruent with number six, which is their SMS list. You can do ringless voicemail blasts to their phone numbers. You can do, uh, um, you know, text blasts to their phone numbers, basically uh, promoting and reminding them of the same things you would do with their email list. The good thing about this, and this is why we said uh, businesses that are doing decently, if they've been doing decently and been doing decently for a while, each business should have at least a couple hundred to a couple thousand emails. 
and phone number. So that means every business you partner with, you're just stacking. They're growing your email list without you having to run ads. All these marketers and advertisers out here are teaching you to run ads to grow your fee your email list or do solo ad uh, uh, campaigns and everything. When you can literally partner, it doesn't get no better than a person that's already like paid for something. They came into the business and like a local business, not some online opt in bull crap, like an actual real business. And now you have control of lists and lists and phone numbers and stuff and emails from like people that are real customers and stuff. So now when you upsell them other things, they'll be more open. OK, so now number eight, the tools that will be used to get the partner's impressive results only use those tools that include a recurring commission program. For example, a lot of you guys have gotten on Builderall with me before, right? Builderall is a recurring commission program and it has a lot of tools. The whole tool suite is like an all in one marketing tool suite, it has the e learner program. My courses are housed on, on uh, Builderall. Uh, it has like a Photoshop type situation. It has uh, um, the booking calendars in there. It, it used to have an app converter where it convert the website to an app. It got pretty much everything. You can give virtual assistants access through there, all type of stuff. Right. So we're we're using tools like that. And some of you guys are using scrapers and and the AI tool. all of that stuff. Make sure that that is covered by the business owner once you plug in everything. And it will be easier if you give get them ones that have a free trial so that they're not putting pretty much anything out of pocket down when you partner with them, because all of your money, you want all of your money because. The more they give you, a lot of you people that are greedy watching this and just won't like them to just hit you with 5K right now and 5K a month, that's going to hurt you. You're, you're making it to where you don't make a lot of money later on. The more money people pay you up front out of their pocket, the more they feel like they own you. And this is why they boss you around and constantly message you and email you and text you asking you where their results are and talking to you way less friendly than they were when you were first talking to them and everything because they've been paying. I've been paying you for months. And da -da 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 -da. well, this cuts the umbilical cord from the, the uh, traditional agency model. Now we're partners, like really partners. Right. So the, the more you plug in and then add the less control they have over you. You understand what I'm saying? And you get to benefit from the brand and the business just as much as they do. And they get to grow and they can, like I said, exit. Even when they exit, if they decide to sell off the business, guys, you'll still have partial control over the digital twin, right? So this is why it's like super beneficial for you and even beneficial for them because if they still decide to sell off the business, uh, uh, they can still continue having uh, uh, income stream from the digital twin as well if they decide to sell off the physical side, right? So they can retire and go do whatever and still have more income coming in from the digital twin, right? So now we have nine, make them agree to be your funding partner. I ran into some hiccups on this one because <laughs> I was talking to a limo dude and I, I decided not to upload that video. But uh, basically, the video was how I said I titled it how to turn down a business owner and still help them because I still helped them in the video, gave them some advice. But I decided it wouldn't be that valuable for y'all. So I just told you the title and told you what happened. Like in the end of it, I had to tell him, no, we ain't working together. He agreed to majority of this stuff, like pretty much like majority of it, right? But if I can't be your funding partner, that's a huge thing, right? Uh, pause. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Usually I tell y'all, hey, just, you know, if they don't have to agree to everything on your uh, agreement form in the monetization steps. Uh, just get them to agree to, you know, you know, three or five or something like that. And then you'll get the you'll make that up when you have another partner and stuff like that. Right. Just get people to plug in the 10 monetizations as fast as you can. Right. OK, cool. But it's certain steps on here that you have to have. He was OK with plugging in the AdSense thank you page. He was OK with us plugging in, uh, uh, you know, the POS system and the virtual gateway. 
Um, you know, but he wasn't he didn't have any money because we usually require the one time set up fee. But that's waivable because, like I said, we don't care about the upfront. But if they do have some type of upfront that can like speed things up when we need things built or delegated out because we ain't trying to do everything right. <laughs> right. If if they do have something like that, then cool. But if they don't, that's not a deal breaker. Like, oh, we don't have that much cash on us right now. We'll still work with them if they meet the other things. But like I said, he even though he agreed to the AdSense on the thank you page, he wasn't really ranking that high in Google. He wasn't even running it, that many ads. Right. So it wouldn't have been any benefit. Like we wouldn't have felt no difference if we plugged in the AdSense. We wouldn't have felt no difference if uh, he used us as the virtual gateway because he only had one limo, right? If he had like <laughs> seven to 20 limo drivers, you understand what I'm saying? Like a whole fleet, then at least that would have been better. We would have been able to feel like, you know, feel something happening. You know what I'm saying? When we plugged in the the you know the card swipers, card readers, and all of that stuff with all his drivers, if he had if he was ranking at the first page of Google because he's in Miami, if he was ranking there, and we could have plugged in our AdSense on the thank you page, that that would have been enough for me to turn an eye on some of the things that he didn't agree to. The main thing that I had an issue with was funding he was so scary about that and i understand so that's why i still helped him but i'm like okay if you don't have any money down you don't have good traffic you hear me like you don't have good traffic already no brand or nothing like that then and you won't agree to the to be my funding partner because i wasn't trying to force him into nothing but i'll explain it in a second right what the heck can we do together like how can i make any money like I'm pretty much gonna have to put in either hella time growing you, pause, or my own money. And both of those are out of the question. You hear me? So my thing is this, right? He's a limo company. If you want to scale up, eventually you need new vehicles. So that's why I didn't think he would have a problem with, uh, you know, the funding part. So now you see why he only got one vehicle because he's he's scary. I'm like, what are you gonna do? Like, how are you gonna get a new new vehicles? You're scared to use your credit. You don't have any cash flow uh, that he says. I, I don't believe that. And you won't. And I told him this, that you don't even have to get funding. But if it was to come up, we want to know that we would be the one that you go through. So that's all I was saying. It ain't like as soon as he signed on the dot that I was going to say, I right, now get this loan right now. You hear me? <laughs> no, it was just if it was to ever come up. We want to have it down that we you ain't going to go through some other funding partner when we the ones over here uh, building up the company. You ain't even putting in that much cash or anything like that. So it was just a situation where it was like, no, because he hit us up and was like, yo, I ain't got cash like that for the upfront free fee. We was like, cool. But then after going to look at his brand and all of that, I'm like, yo, he don't have no traffic, no rankings. One vehicle, pretty much just starting up. This is not what we usually do, but we got on that call with him anyway. Uh, this is a limo owner. And then we we were checking off everything. He was okay with all of the monetization stuff that we talked about so far. He didn't have the down payment or nothing like that. That's cool. We we all right. That was cool. But as soon as we got to the funding, it's like, oh, I, I can't. I'm scared. I, you know, what if this doesn't work? And I still have to pay back the loan and, and all of that. And I'm like, <laughs> you understand? There's some point in time where you got to move with faith. You hear me? Like, dog, like, how are you going to grow without any risk? Yes, this. Well, I don't see how it couldn't work. What you reach out to me for if you don't believe in it, right? But, like, is <laughs> I'm like, dog, like, businesses get funding. That's a normal thing. Unless you want to start with this one vehicle, um, like don't spend any money, like don't pay your bills at all. This is the only way I can see, like don't pay your bills. Don't don't take no friends or girlfriends out. Don't don't do nothing. Everything you make from this car, this this limo right here, use it as uh, uh, to get another vehicle. That's the only way I can see them scaling 
to multiple vehicles without funding, right? But because he don't use credit either. So it's like, how are you going to get another vehicle, dude? Like, what are you doing? Why do you want my help if you're not trying to scale? So this is why I told y'all, like my agency, Profit Position and Agency, we have like two goals to help a business owner uh, with an expansion, a large rapid expansion, grow, or to help them with a larger exit, sell off, right? Like that's it. Like I'm not a marketing agency anymore. Like I don't want to be an advertising marketing agency anymore. We'll do those things in order to achieve those one or two goals. But I am not a marketing agency anymore. So that's why I had to let that limo dude ride out into the wherever the heck he was riding out to because no, yeah. you're not going to turn us down as funding partners and don't have any money down either and don't have any traffic. So that means guys, he we could have done nothing from step one all the way up to eight. We wouldn't have been able to do anything right? because he didn't have any money. He's new in business, so we can't leverage his email list or his SMS list. Uh, <laughs> and he said no to us being the funding partner. So everybody, this is why we say go through these you know, partners. But the good thing about it now, how we're setting it up, is that these business brokers that we're dealing with, they're going to do the filtering. They're going to introduce our terms uh, for the agreement to these business owners that either want to sell or expand. Right. They're going to do all of that. So the people that we talk to and that you talk to aren't going to be as stubborn as that limo dude was. Not trying to talk bad about them, but right. that was a headache. I'm like, what do you expect me to do if you have no money down, no traffic, no email list, and you telling me no to stuff? How dare you tell me no to stuff if I'm going to help you with no money? Like if I'm helping you with no money, then you you need to do what I say. You hear me? Like not on no prideful stuff, but I'm the authority here. If you have no money, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you came to me and you have no money. Like that's two things right there. And I I got so much more experience in the limo industry than you. All right? Like how dare you? You know. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> So that was number nine, y'all. <laughs> but let's do this, right? We got number 10. Number 10, number 10 is probably one of my most, uh, 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 you know, I'm the, the I'm super excited about number 10. We'll just say that. Okay. So what do I mean by that? This is where we create new income streams for the business. And these new income streams will have no overhead. Uh, uh, like no startup costs, right? They have uh, um, what do you call it? No, uh, like dog is effortless for these new income streams. Right. The little budget that they already have set aside for advertising, these new income streams can go into that. No, so check this out. Watch this. Interview them and convert the content from the interview into a book. So it's going to have a digital book like that'll be the ebook, then the audio book. That's two income streams right there. Then the physical copies, right? Those can be sold as a bundle or separately. OK, so there's nothing they have to do but the interview. Right. And that's all done for them. Uh, um, um, what else? Then the interview becomes a course. <laughs> so, for example, if it's a personal trainer, we can actually create multiple courses. Right. Right. So, <laughs> so like some people don't care about the rest of their body. They just want good abs. Right. So we can make a separate course just about abs, uh, uh, biceps, uh, triceps or full body, uh, conditioning, cardio. You hear me? Uh, uh, strength training. Like they can be sliced up into so many different income streams. You hear me? And, OK, but anyway, that's why number 10 is my favorite. So we take this interview and we create all of these different new assets, a.k.a. income streams, and we leverage them. I don't care if they got five dollars a day on Facebook. We leverage them to promote these new income streams. And this is something that they already agreed to. Yo, when you know part of your agreement is you're the investor. Right. So, like, you know, whatever we do need to. Uh, use ads for or SEO for, 
that's their job to cover that, not ours. We're the skilled technicians that's going to bring the result. But they are the funding partner for, uh, for the, uh, you know, to get to the end goals that they want. Right. So number 10, that is something. Go ahead. I was just going to say that, you know, you've gone through nine monetizations. They should be also making some money from that digital twin such that they shouldn't necessarily have to pull out of their operational budget. They could just use some of the money that they're already, you know, Bars. funnel the money back into, you know, advertising for another step in the process. In this case, uh, you know, Number 10. So basically what you're saying is they should be in the profit recycling step. Exactly. At the time. Exactly. So guys, like, so this is painless for them. This is basically what Curtis is saying. Like all of these steps, including being a funding partner, is painless for them. That's why I was so shocked and amazed with the limo dude. I'm like, you don't have to get a loan. I'm just saying if one day you were to decide to, because he is one day, everybody does, is inevitable. One day you're going to get funding from something for some reason, right? Uh, <laughs> you know, it's, if you're trying to grow, you are like, you know, uh, especially if you don't know stuff like profit recycling. A lot of these business owners don't know nothing about that type of stuff. So when they want to grow, the first thing they think of is the bank. Uh, uh, um, you know, sourcing, like, you know, crowdsourcing mm -hmm. or funding. I mean, uh, um, uh, you know, like raising funds and, and different things like that and loans. Like that's all they, they know. Right. So, <laughs> yeah. So the point is, guys, you're going to be paired with people that don't have a problem with majority of this stuff. And for the things that they don't want to plug in, you'll be able to plug those things in pause with other uh, business partners that you have. The goal is for you to not have to have a lot of business partners in order for you to reach your uh, monetary goals, your income goals monthly. And the good thing about this, guys, is once you have access to all of these different things and once you built these assets out uh, and we, we're, we're currently gathering fulfillment partners for inside agency to partner too, right. so that you don't even have to build the digital twin yourself. You'll be able to use leverage, uh, whatever the business owner can come up with. Uh, the more they can come up with, you know, or the more they have or whatever, the less we'll have to do or the less we'll have to build and stuff like that. So if they already got websites and all, they should have already websites, like if we're dealing with them and stuff. Uh, but like some of them aren't going to have apps and stuff. Well, that's cool. You can take what they have and then have it converted using one of the fulfillment partners. And we'll have cloners and all of that stuff in there uh, shortly. So you guys. We have you. We went through the eight R's at the beginning of this. So if you came on here late, then you might want to go back to the beginning where Curtis was explaining the eight R's, right? Right. For the uh, to reach the Cinder the Cinderella equity, right? So our whole goal is for those of you who came here thinking about buying businesses or whatever. Ah, hopefully you changed your mind because in order to pull cash out and equity out of a business, you don't technically have to have your name on the dotted line when they are doing a lot of that legal stuff. We teach you an alternative method by creating digital twins where you don't have the liability, the responsibility or the legalities or any of that bull. When they have slip and fall lawsuits, that has nothing to do with you. If they go out of business, that has nothing to do with you and you still keep going. It's never been nothing like this in, in history. From what I've researched, me and Curtis were disrupting <laughs> the business broker industry, yeah. the business buying industry, and the agency owner industry, right? Like three different like niches or whatever you want to call them. We're like making it easier for everybody in between to succeed and reach their goals. And we've never seen anything like this. All praises to the most high. I wish this was around. This is not us boasting. I really wish this was around when when we were first trying to make money and all of this extra stuff. So it would be crazy if you guys didn't, didn't uh, hop on uh, pause. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Like there's coaching in the first pinned comment and in the description after the holiday season. 
there will not be a payment plan and the prices will go up from the 5k to something higher why because you're going to see us adding way more partners in our fulfillment partners brokers uh and agency owners in there so that whenever you just log in you'll automatically be able to be paired with something to get started right we don't want you to have to still have to do a lot of stuff and prospecting and stuff. But here's a little hint, though. Like, I want to say this before we go. If you ever have to advertise, if you ever have to prospect, scrape lists and stuff, don't do it for customers or clients. Do it for partners. Don't advertise anymore. Like, everybody in here, write this down and make a commitment. Don't advertise or market or prospect or scrape list for clients anymore or customers. Do it for the partners that own those clients or customers, because right. then that'll skyrocket whatever you're trying to do. Right. Uh, they have way more authority with those customers or clients than you do right now. So you just leverage them. Let them tell them to buy your stuff. Exactly. OK. Did you, did you want to say something before we ride out? No, I, I think I think we you did a great job of of putting it in a synopsis that that is you know clear and concise you told them about we told them about the eight r's we told them about the 10 monetization methodologies you know there's some there's some bonus pieces in there you know related to how you do you know your whole uh, militia stuff and your affiliate army stuff and all of that stuff and you know it's just it it, it, it there are there's stuff obviously we did not talk about that you know, you, we're not going to because that's behind the wall. Right. But the basics of what we gave, you know, um, we didn't talk about, for example, how to leverage uh, GPTs in this process and make that a as an example, a, a, um, you know, a, a nice little income stream. Uh, we didn't talk about the, the the building out of the media company. I mean, I thought you did a great job of talking about the asset, but you know, there's a whole media suite that can be taken advantage of, and and that adds to the valuation of the company. Imagine you have a little fledgling media company with everything you talked about, with a couple of other pieces into it, right? And and that could blow the person up to the point where they're a true, not just uh, local, but they're true, you know, statewide, region wide, and even could get national wide, nationally known, you know, for what they're doing in that industry. And the more we can position them as authority, yeah, exactly. they, the, the better off we all are in that process. So, uh, so I thought you did a great job there, but there's a lot more in the back that we talk about that we can put into play that would help everyone in the process. And I think that that is, uh, sure. you know, that's important. For sure. Listen, guys, 5K is not a lot. Um, I know it might seem like it, but you you spent that a lot on BS that you can't even think about right now. You can't even remember it. And I'm telling you that because I have. But the difference between me and a lot of you is even though I spent 5K on BS, I've also spent 100 times that on self-improvement, uh, you know, my education, right. not college, uh, um, you know, this up here and my skill sets, enhancing my skill sets so I can be a lethal you know what I'm saying? Lethal marketer and advertiser, everything that I know, all knowledge is shared knowledge. So I got it from somewhere. Uh, some of it was from the YouTube university, you understand? But a lot of it was from like courses and coaching and and like legions of books and stuff, right? Like, <laughs> so my point is, guys, we're not asking you to do anything that we've never done before. If you're an agency owner or someone that was interested in buying a business or a franchise, agency to partner is the way to go to be able to dodge the dangers, the mistakes and errors that you will end up facing and save a crap load of time. This is the first time ever that um, if you're an agency owner prospecting 
and scraping and cold calling for clients have been completely eliminated and eradicated. You have no need to do that anymore when you gather partners, how we're teaching you in an agency to partner. Uh, this is the first time in history if you are a business buyer that you don't have to use your cash or anybody else's cash. You don't have to use your credit or anybody else's credit. And if you are trying to do seller financing, it's never been a, a way like this before. Now, third, if you're a business broker, there's never been a time where you can increase your success fee and decrease your uh, sales cycle right. in this amount of time that we show you inside agency to partner, guys. So anybody basically that, we, that are watching this, we should have covered everybody, right? Uh, look, take advantage of it. If you don't have the 5K right now or something, as you can see below, there is a payment plan. If you don't, you just you need more like or something like that. As you can see below, we have the uh, two hour coaching session personal like live with me and Curtis, two coaches exactly. with like wealth, like a wealth of experience and wisdom. You understand? And it'll just be us on there. And we'll walk you through the eight R's, the 10 monetization steps, reveal all so that even if you don't have the 5K or anything for the, the uh, membership, because that's what it is. That's a membership, guys. Like, it's not just some course. We don't want you to think it's just some course. You're becoming a member inside agency to partner, right? So that's why it's 5K, a lifetime member in agency to partner. You'll never be stuck. You'll always, Laura's will, nothing happens, right? Unless it's the end of the world or something. You'll always have... Have me and Curtis right. there uh, uh, for for any of those you know issues that you might run into, or to help you plug in the eight R's and the ten monetization steps. Will be there. You hear me? Um, so it's, it's like I said before, it's never been anything like this, and it's only going to get pause bigger as we go on these other platforms, these other channels, and uh, expose it more expose the flaws and the agency model and the rest of these business models and everything like that, it's only going to get bigger. And as it gets bigger, it has. It has to naturally, like, like it just has to get more expensive. Right. Because even right now, it should be more expensive than 5K. It should be, but it's not, right? It, uh, one of our, one of our uh, students, I think the last, yeah, the last guy we coached, uh, his name is Brandon. He told us he bought RFs. I'm not going to say his name, but if you've been in a business buying realm, you know his name. He said he bought RFs uh, coaching program and didn't know what to do or couldn't do anything. We're currently working with him. Matter of fact, when I get off here, I got to send him a new script or whatever for the business broker and everything. Um He's going to have success because we're going to make sure he has success. We're not going to leave him until he has success. We're not just going to send him some list of 200 ways uh, that you can get buy a business with no money down and then just like, I right, thanks for the 3K. That's all you get. Right. <laughs> you hear me? We're going to make sure, you know, that if he's putting in the work because it takes two, baby. Right. <laughs> if he's putting in the work that he's going to get partners. And he's going to be able to plug in these 10 monetization methods. So I'm going to get to that in a minute and work with him. And um, hey, guys, take advantage of the coaching below because not just the 5K is going to go up. Since we're going to be busy doing all these interviews, we won't have time like we do right now. So we will have to increase the price for the coaching, too. So right now, for the price of one, you get two coaches. For two hours. Right. Right. And that's in the pen comment. It'll be the most informative, beneficial, lucrative uh, coaching session you've ever been on in your life. If you enjoyed this session right here that we got public, then imagine us personally talking to you and just telling you, all right, now that you have a partner, do this. Right. Go do this right now. Right. Okay, so Curtis, you want to say anything else, or should I sayonara? On I think we can sayonara. I, I will just add that it never lasts only two hours. We always go beyond the two hours. 
Oh, yeah. that, that's that's the first thing. And the, and the second thing is, um, you know, what what Yashriel was saying is not a scare tactic. We're actually going to put this put these agencies um, up on biz by sale and they will be sold for at a minimum twenty five thousand dollars. So it's not a scare tactic that, that oh the price is going to go up. No, you could go find us over on biz by sale, loop net, you know, uh, Business for Sale USA, et cetera, for the price of the, because it's a business. It's a business in a box at that point. Mm-hmm. And that's what we're trying to tell you. $5,000, if you think if you think you're lonely now, wait until tonight. I mean, $5,000. He hit him with my favorite song, you hear me? He said, if you think you're lonely now, Wait until we raise these prices, Jeremy. Listen, look, dude, even if we raise the price, even when we raise the prices, y'all, like whatever we raise them to, it's still going to be nothing. It's going to be minute. It's going to be microscopic. You understand? Like what is the nano? Like what is what's smaller than micro? <laughs> anyway, it's going to be tiny in comparison to what you can gain from right. this. So if you're watching this after the holidays, don't don't be discouraged. and be like, meh. I didn't get in at the 5K mark. Still do it. If it's freaking 30K, because think about it. We're going to be going and talking to people that uh, uh, talking in front of people that own like like they're spearheading industries and things. So soon this is going to be way out of reach for a lot of people and not because we don't care about you or anything. Why do you think we're keeping it at 5K for so long? Right. Uh, but it's because. You can't have everybody doing this. You understand what I'm saying? Just like with my my market monopoly, if I was to just teach everybody my market monopoly, then it wouldn't be valuable anymore. It wouldn't be like unique anymore. And like, imagine everybody in every industry. It it wouldn't work. Like the system would malfunction. I think I think Google would break if everybody did the, the market monopoly. Like, dog, like it couldn't. I don't even see how that could happen. Right. So this is why the market monopoly is 250 K. I don't get people for, for that often, but that's good because then it wouldn't be that G. Right. Like if you just sink that everywhere, then, you know, so agency to partner right now is 5K. The coaching two coaches for the price of one in the first pen comment. Right now is only 997, but that will probably go to about 5K. Right. You you tripping off what agency the partner costs to get in a membership, the coaching. When our time becomes extremely limited, guys, because what we're teaching, like, dog, people pay way more to learn less. <laughs> like, oh, I got on a I, I, I spent an hour with Grant Cardone for thirty thousand dollars and he told me I need a, a sales team. <laughs> You hear me? You pay thirty thousand dollars for him to tell you you need a sales team. OK, well, yeah. You know, hey, but I'm not knocking that because sometimes the best information is the like the like <laughs> most simple information. Right. So that's good. You know, so I ain't knocking that. But my point is we're it's only a, 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 a stack, right? Only a thousand bucks. And you're going to get so much more than us just telling you. All right. Now go just go plug in this right. right here. Right. It's going to be simple. But we want you to know how to make it become easy. You hear me? Um, all right. But we ain't going to drown this out. We'll see the, the wisest of you on the coaching session this week. All right. Love you.